So where are you going and what are you doing? What have you seen today that you love? You know, I've seen a lot of lithium battery technology that I'm pretty impressed with, actually. Not something I would think was sexy ever. But as I mature, um, a lot of... There's Brian Deegan, that's like... What up, bro? Uh, as I mature and I see how these things are packaged and how I could use them in an innovative way for off-road and overlanding, which is the core of my business and yep. my hobby, uh, I'm really enjoying seeing that. So. I think some of the lithium battery tech has been pretty cool. It, it's coming along, you know, and I've been saying it for years that the only problem with the electrification is the batteries aren't ready, but companies are starting to step up. Oh yeah. You know, definitely. slowly but surely, it's getting better and better. In a couple years, it should be like really viable. And I dig that. Oh yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah like King of the Hammers. Uh, oh yeah, I can't wait to see a full have, electric KOH have, that just we dominates. Can, we have an EV class already. The walkway right well, down. you can keep, you can keep all the weight super, super low, so you can have low center of gravity. Um, it, it's tight and compact, so there's there's really good benefits to it. Absolutely. It's just the batteries need to come alive. And then, you know, outside of batteries, just seeing cool cars. Yep. Fun. So, so you were at the party last night? I was. And you had a little fun? I had fun, and you saved the you, day. You stole my, you stole my phone was, until I had to leave. It's the only person old enough to have a phone with a headphone jacket in it. <laughs> to plug in the really old head unit. Hold on, somewhere down here, I've got a badge. Top of the West Gate. Uh oh, one of my camera guys is getting stopped for his bag. So, uh, so what show are we on? <laughs> so two, actually. Two. We've got uh, unofficial use only, which is my show and my channel and my shop. And then I'm also we do for Gone Jeepin. Okay. So Gone Jeepin is Rick Payway. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm an owner of Gone Jeepin as well. Uh, you don't have sandals on, but you do have a kill. So. Uh, I know. Well, my flips flopped. So I'm stuck with shoes when I go outside. When I get in there, I can pop them off and just walk around barefoot. But there's too much chew spit out there. Yeah, that's fucking nasty. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, we're, we're just cruising around, checking out SEMO. We run into amazing people like Rory and uh, have a lot of fun. We right? do have fun. There's a lot of cool stuff right inside this hall. Oh, yeah. Well, we, we were in the hall, then we came out. The West Hall is really where you want to be. It's brand new. Yep. It has all the best food. They, spent, they spent a billion dollars and building this hall. That's all that really matters. Kind of the core of the industry. We prop up all the old heads. And, uh, the LS boys. Yeah. The off road hall. <laughs> well, cool. Thank you very much for talking with us for a minute. Yeah. Thank you. Enjoy Thanks it. For saving the day. We and uh, last night. one fun one, just as a little plug, what is your core business? Uh, TriggerController.com. What is your name? Four by four. I didn't USA. know you were a trigger controller. I am. Oh. I'm a man of mystery. And then uh, also help out with King of the Hammer. So, yeah. Check out KOH, King of the Hammers. Um, if you haven't been yet and you haven't watched the footage, you need to. And uh, yeah, trigger controller. I, yeah. I've, I've, I actually know all about the product. I just didn't know you were the man. Cool, awesome. Thank you so much.